Hello, welcome guys to Get In The Black. Um, tonight we are going to be talking about crypto updates. So thank you guys for those who have not been uh, to our channel. We are Get In The Black where we actually talk about our journey on becoming financially free and how we are becoming the best version of ourselves by exploring living life and doing the best we can by sharing with you guys our lifestyle hacks. So tonight, crypto update, we're going to be talking about a few topics. We're going to talk about overall where the market uh, is, the crypto market is right now. We're going to talk a little bit about Helium Network and the updates that are going on with that. Um, we're also going to talk a little bit about XRP and the updates on the SEC lawsuit, what's happening with there. But the big part of the show we're going to be talking about is NFTs and the most amazing uh, sale that just happened um, with the Bored Apes Yacht Club. So we're going to talk about that. And for those who have not, go ahead, like comment and subscribe and so and share this uh live stream with your friends so we can have more people come in so i'm super excited uh, for everyone who's coming in to join us tonight it is september 1st it's a new month so we're going to do something a little bit different here today we're going to go with what is we're going to do a one word mental health check-in so one thing I love about being in the black, it's a, a it's a personal experience. It's a wherever you are in that state of life that you get a chance to uh, recognize and take and take more time in. So this one word check in, if I had to personally check in with myself, I would say excited. Um, I am. Today was an exciting day because it's Wednesday and I love kind of I'm getting to do this new live stream, being in front of an audience and uh, talking about things that I'm passionate about. Um, I, I can do that one on one, but doing that on with a platform like this has um, gave me the opportunity today to decide if I'm excited or am I nervous? And I think I made the choice today to say excited versus nervous. Um, and I think nervousness is a good thing, but I think I am choosing, I am choosing excitement versus nervousness today. So I would like to ask you, what is your one word? Take a moment, deep breath, and tell me what's your one word check in. Put that into the comment section. And if you would like, give us a little description why you feel that way. And we would love to hear those uh, those those um, those options. So let's get started. All right, as people are rolling in. All right. So the cool thing today is we are doing very well in the market. I'm super excited about today. So for those who are Ethereum and Bitcoin holders, um, Big Ethereum has been doing a massive pump today. So I'm super excited about that. I am a Ethereum holder, so I'm excited about that. All right. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. We're going to go over what's happening in the market today. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, perfect. All right, there we go. So today, as of recording today, um, <laughs> we are sitting at a market cap, a total market cap at $2.2 trillion, guys, $2.2 .2 trillion. Um, I remember last time we were here in May, it was such a euphoric feeling. I'm so excited for that. And now we're looking at the Bitcoin uh, dominance is at 41%. If it drops any lower, we're definitely going to be in all coin season, guys. Um, I mean, I feel like we already are in all coin season. And we're going to talk about that, what that means. And then the gas fees are currently at 88 uh, per quote. Uh, go away. <laughs> so let's see. 
Bitcoin is, as the time of recording, is coming in at $48,790 and is up 4% on 24 hours, but down overall for the week, um, less than a percent. The total market cap, we're looking at $916 billion, $477,786,065. Uh, that's pretty good. And actually, this is a really good thing because we kind of need Bitcoin to trade sideways right now um, so we can have all coin season. It's actually a good thing overall for the rest of us who are invested in alternative coins. And for those who don't know, alternative coins will be shortening for all coins or any coin outside of the original cryptocurrency which is bitcoin and coming in at number two we have ethereum ethereum right now look at it go at three thousand seven hundred and seventy eight dollars it's up 11 over 11 percent for the 24 hour um for the last 24 hours and it's up almost 17 percent for the last seven days and it's coming at at a market cap of 442 uh billion dollars nine hundred and ninety million nine hundred fifty seven thousand eight hundred and twenty four dollars exciting let's see we got some pretty good volume in that's nice and then of course we have number three which is i'm a big holder of cardano ada um has had a a really great last week last week was really amazing um cardano is sitting at right now two dollars and 86 cents it's up 4.33 percent for the 24, 24 hours and up about almost 4% for the week uh, for the last seven days. And it's coming in at a market cap at 91,653, I mean, 91,653,217,243. 91, uh, Cardano has some good news. We have a uh, smart contracts coming September 12th. We're excited for that. Uh, and let's look at XRP. XRP is coming in at a dollar twenty-three. Um, it's up five point, almost yeah, five percent for the last twenty-four hours, and four percent on the last seven days. And its current market cap is fifty-seven million, fifty-seven billion, um, and twenty-eight million four hundred and sixty-eight thousand six hundred sixty-one dollars. And oh, yeah, Solana has been the star of this week. Um, Solana is up to uh, current price $111. Um, it's up in almost 4% in the last 24 hours and a whopping 52% in the last seven days. It's currently the eight, the number eight uh, cryptocurrency at a market cap of $32,387,091,000. That is amazing. But my favorite of them all is helium network um for those who don't know i am a big big supporter of the people's network helium is coming in at holding strong above 20 dollars um it's a uh, 23 dollars and seven cents its current market cap is its current coin is at uh 60 number 61 and the current market cap is two billion two hundred and thirty three million two hundred and six dollars and seven hundred and eighty three cents that is amazing we are doing very well as an overall uh market i think we you know this is a really good strong time that we're in so let's also now take a look at what we're going to be talking about so we, i want to do um a little update on um helium network so we got some really cool things that's happening with the helium network let me pull that up really quick let's see let's see all right there we go all right so right now Helium is has just had its having, which is uh, where the supply gets cut in half on August first, and let's see. so they just had their having, and we saw we didn't see a quick 
price jump, but we did get a chance to see the price go up from there. The price has been handling steady at at the current um, at above twenty dollars. So that's one thing I really been enjoying about that. Okay, one second. Right. There we go. Okay. So um, for those who are not familiar with uh, the Helium Network, so Helium Network is an IoT is an IoT company, and they are building um, the um, Internet of Things. And what that is, it's um, it's it's to transmit um, low uh, data. Um, Low, low data over low frequency, which is um, radio frequency. Um, we also call it low RAN. And the cool thing is, let me show, share my screen with them really quick. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm. So right now, the People's Network we um, this is their website. So if you guys are interested, you can go to helium.com and take a look and learn more about helium and what's uh, what's happening. So right now the network has uh, is up to one hundred and fifty two thousand and one hotspots total. Uh, we got a circulation circulating H and T supply of ninety nine million eight hundred and sixty two thousand one hundred twenty one tokens. Let's take a quick look at the um, network. Let's see. So as you can see, helium is all over North America, Europe, and South America, and as you can see over here in uh, South Africa as well. Let's see, in Australia, and this looks like over in China as well, Hong Kong, as you can, we can see. So the People Network is a global community, and it is growing and growing with hotspots on up a 44,000 hotspots in the last 30 days. That is amazing. And with that price holding at $23, I mean, I'm, I'm loving my, my mining portfolio. So let's go from here All right so for those who do not have a, a helium miner and is um, worrying about how do you get one well i we have um a partnership with ihub global and for those who have never seen ihub global ihub global gives you the opportunity to um they give you the opportunity to um, get your own they give you the opportunity to get your own uh, miner. So I really love uh, this company. Um, you can get your miner and you can build the network yourself. This is the back office. You can also get a robust um, Helium network so you can track your hotspots, the ones that you have with other people. Um, you can see where they are. They have a lot of different tools. And if you all you have to do is click here, sign up with the link below. And you can go here, go to the Helium Tracker app, and then you can fill it out right here. They have a video right here that shows you and walk you through it. So if you feel like, I don't know what's going on, don't worry about that. They have a under two minute video that can walk you through that. So um, I highly suggest if you wanna get a free Helium miner and earn up to $1,000 a month um, without putting any money out your pocket, check, check out iHub Global, um, our link, our sponsored, uh, link is um, below. Uh, so we would love to have you a part of the team. So really quick, um, I want to give you guys an update on what's happening with um, um, Helium. Helium has partnered with Freedom5. Freedom5 is a company that has been focused on 5G networking. And this is their website right here, freedom5.com. Um, they have partnered so with uh, Helium to be able to produce um, h and uh, tokens for those who are interested in um, being a part of the blockchain and providing 5G network to yourself and locals. So if you take a look um, right here, Freedom5 Gateway is the easiest path towards your open source private LTE or 5G network. That's pretty much your cell phone. 
um, and items use 5G network. And for those who don't know, I looked into cell phone towers and get into that space like 5G and laying down the fiber, the uh, the optic fiber and all that stuff. It's really, really expensive. What Freedom Fi and Helium is doing by making it uh uh, personalizing and allowing people to become their own network. That is really a big deal that has never been done before. And the great thing about it is that it's not that you're going to have your own uh, 5G cell. It's the way this is working. It's more of an access point. So you can connect to your neighbors. Uh, um, you can connect to your own device. And by utilizing that, you're going to be able to earn um you're going to better earn HNT tokens by providing that service, that mobile uh, broadband. So that is something really cool. But for those who didn't know, um, Helium sent this uh, um, this uh, email to me. So let's check out this email really quick. So thank you for your patience. It's about to pay off. Should you semiconductor shortage goods remain good to us? Okay, uh, we ex uh, guys remain good to us. Uh, we expect to start shipping helium compatible freedom fire gateway to reservation id holders on september 28th so this guys they are finally coming so make sure you check your reservation number if you paid your uh down payment of a hundred dollars to find out uh, where your place is um in it and so to estimate the date of your shipment based on your place in the reservation line please refer to your helium 5g deployment timeline if you are not sure of your place in line, follow this link and it'll let you know what your status is. Um, they have a wait list status that you can uh, check right there if you went to the uh, website. Let's see. Make sure. Also, let's see what to expect on the shipping date. No need to rush to stay up all night to click the button before anyone else. That's good because. I need my rest. Uh, when your number is up, you will receive the email with a link to complete your order. You will have 14 days from the moment you receive the email. If no action is taken after 14 days, your reservation number will be automatically bumped into your next shipping batch. Your $100 waitlist deposit will be automatically subtracted from the order total during checkout. Nice. Okay. And so if you didn't get this email, you can also look, um, they have actually more detailed information about this. This is something actually going to be really big, actually, guys, right here is the Omni protocol. So let's read this really quick. With support from DB um, and the broader Helium, the broader Helium community, we recently published Helium Improvement Proposal 37, which outlines economic and technical implementation concepts for expanding Helium current proof of co coverage algorithm to apply towards non low raw uh, wireless protocols, starting with CBRS 5G and Wi-Fi. Read the HIP proposal to or watch the Helium community meeting re uh, recording to learn more. That is a good one. Um, I missed that one, so I need to go back and watch that one. Um, but to go to, 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 to touch on this part right here, um, there was an article that was uh, put out on light reading, and I was taking a look at this. Uh, this is really interesting. Helium Freedom, um, Freedom 5 prepares massive DIY 5G network. So they're saying Freedom 5 is going to manufacture a uh, partner of uh, 20,000 small cells that will form the basis of the com company. CEO Boris Rinsky expects will be the largest CBRS based neutral host network in the US. That's a big deal. That's that's putting the power back into people. That's truly decentralization. So to put the figure into perspective, Verizon is hoping to operate around 30,000 small cells in its own network by the end of this year. So Verizon, one of the top cellular data uh, cellular companies out there and been around for a very long time, we're going to have just 10,000 less than them. That's a big deal. Um, excited about that. This is a really good article, guys. Um, I would definitely tap into it. Uh, let's see if I get some a uh, couple other things I uh, can pull out of here. I think was uh, really cool. Uh, let me see. Okay, so here we go. This is uh, people were asking about you know how do you really attach to this? So this right here was pretty good. So it says Rinsky wouldn't identify any of the customers who purchased Freedom 5 small cells, 
but said they include individuals and companies. Important, he said that several unnamed MVNOs plans to support roaming onto the network that Freedom Fire is supplying. So what is MVNO? Let's take a look at that. Let's see. So MVNO stands for Mobile Virtual Network Operators. So that includes big names like AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, we just talked about, um, US Cellular, never heard of them, but you know, but these are big names that everyone knows. So the fact that they are going to be tapping into that, that is a big deal. So meaning the customers who purchase and in ooh, meaning the customers who purchase and install Freedom Fire equipment stand to get paid through helium cryptocurrency for that MVNO traffic onto their 5G site. So what that is saying is that people from so who have Verizon, they can um, attach to our 5G network and we'll get paid in h and tokens for that use of network. That is a big deal. That is an opportunity for us to increase our um, earnings when it comes to h and But this other part at the end, I think I want to talk about and we'll move on is Rinsky said Freedom 5 is currently selling an indoor small sale for around $1,500 that should cover roughly three times the range of a Wi-Fi hotspot and can support speeds up to 150 uh, megabytes per second. He said the company expects to launch an outdoor small sales for around 2000 that can provide connection up to several miles away and can support speeds up to 220 megabytes per second. Both gadgets require a connection to Freedom 5 Gateway that costs around $1,000. Rinsky said the installing the gadgets is more like installing a Wi-Fi access point than a massive macro cell tower. Well, that's going to be amazing. I think that's a, a lot of great things. Um, so if anyone have any questions about, um, you know, what's going on in Helium Network, if you want to get a free um, miner, go ahead, click the link iHub Global, reach out. We'll um, make sure you get that information. All right, moving on to our next topic. What's going on with the XRP uh, lawsuit with the SEC? Let's find out. So, all right, let's see what's happening. All right, here we go. Right. Share my screen. Wow. So for those who have not, make sure you hit that like button, share this with your friends to get this great information that we got going on here. Um, let's see. Here we go. So, all right. For those um, really quick background story, um, XRP, I got on XRP last year. I'll start buying it around 25 cents. I mean, I was part of the XRP army and I'm still am. Um, I was upset uh, with the Ripple and SEC case that happened. But the honest thing, thing is, is that there's more to the story than we all know. So on uh, Cointelegraph, um, there was this article that was published just uh, the other day was Ripple's files for a motion to expose XRP holdings of SEC employees. Guys. If this come out that while the SEC was members of the SEC was trading XRP during this investigation, that is going to be a major blow to their case. And apparently this has been asked for multiple times. So let's read a little bit of this article. The court has reportedly given the, the uh, U.S. security um, until September 3rd. So that's two days from now uh, to respond to Ripple's motion to compile the authority to provide data on its employees' XRP holdings. Wow. Uh, Ripple has filed a motion to compile the United States Security and Exchange Commission to disclose its internal uh, cryptocurrency trading policy as part of the ongoing legal battles with the security regulators. That is a big deal. I honestly think that with this happening the way it's going, I think we're going to see XRP 
um, end up paying. Um, well, Ripple Labs is who's been sued. Uh, we're going to see XRP getting uh, reinstated to exchanges and which is going to give us access, Americans access back to XRP. Um, and then also, I think it's going to put us in a position to see a major pump. I think XRP can potentially do a, um, a potential 5 to 10x easily here. Let's take a look at this article that was published just a, a few hours ago. Um, XRP, XRP lawsuit, all you need to know about Ripple's how we test curve bail. Let's talk about it. The legal battle between the United States Security and Exchange Commission, Ripple Labs, is unlikely to end anytime soon. I agree, but we know that it's on its way out. <laughs> Whatever. The two parties have relentlessly filed opposing motions to dispel claims made by the other, along with other, with trying to acquire relevant information. Legal jargon. They're just being stubborn, going back and forth. It's ridiculous. Um, instead of actually, they're just using these loopholes to constantly prolong the process. Um, Ripple has now filed a motion to compile the SEC to answer interrogation. We know that. Okay, let's go here. So SS so the SEC theory of how the Howey test applies to virtually all the Ripple transaction in XRP over the last eight years, even after repeated instances by Judge Netburn, the SEC has report repeatedly refused to provide relevant information on how on how how we applies to ripple transactions uh calling it baseless if the if the filing the defendants claim the sec adheres to its position that the contentions sought are irrelevant and refuses to provide substantive and non-invasive response so at the end of the day i see the sec claims that ripple sold over 1.3 billion in unregistered securities to clueless investors through their token xrp i you know, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not going to go too far deep into this, but I, I really think just knowing how the government and the SEC has been moving in this case, I think there's a lot of, uh, um, I don't think there's a lot of hard evidence enough for the SEC to actually um, get a win and shut down Ripple Labs. Um, I've been reading a lot that Ripple Labs outside of America have been doing a lot of expansion and working with governments uh, to create their own CBDCs. So I think it's a, a really, a really amazing opportunity there that um, we're going to see a five to ten x on this uh, once it gets released and we start settling because they're just going to do a settle. They're going to slap them on the wrist at the end of the day and say pay this fine, and they're going to move on from there. That's what's going to happen. So. I am not surprised about what's happening, this constant going back and forth. That's just how it goes. So we're going to get into our next topic. We have a question. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Oops. So the question is, what do I be when do I believe we'll see XRP um, Ripple Labs this being settled? I, I I would say closer to the end of the year. I, I really don't have a date, but I would say closer to the end of the year. Um, I, I, I'm hoping that we will get some really good uh, progress in them um, talking about settlements. Um, I don't see it getting listed um, on the American exchanges this month. I, you know, so I think uh, that's something we have to keep our eye out. We'll keep our eye out on that. So for those who are just now joining us, thank you for joining. My name is Johanse. Uh, I am half of Get In The Black channel, uh, where we talk about our, our journey on becoming financially free and um, our experiences in travel and life hacks and that makes our life easier and how we can get and stay in the black so let's get to the topic at hand everything you need to know about nfts so for those who have not heard nfts are the biggest craze going on right now nft uh stands for non-fungible tokens and the great thing about this the great thing about this uh the great thing about this um this, this uh, NFTs is that you can NFT your house that has been done. You can NFT a car. You can NFT almost anything. So that's the one thing I love about NFTs is that 
it's right now, I think the biggest thing to be able to open up the opportunity for us as a as a overall market and community um, is we need to get mass adopt adoption. OK, so the thing is, the one thing that I love about NFTs is that art has always brought people together. If it's come to music, dance, um, physical paintings, it's an opportunity for people from all different um, backgrounds to give their perspective on what it is, what it means to them. So, oops, oh, 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 hold on, what happened? One second. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen in one second if I can. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Make sure you get it in black and press that subscribe button. All right. All right. So here we go. So this is a cool article I found. Um, a lot of my friends and family have been asking me, Johansson, what, what, what's going on with the NFT craze and everything like that. So this is an article that I found on TheVerge.com. Um, it's really a basic where they talk about um, NFT explained very well, I think, and, and what's happening in this emerging market. This was uh, written about in August last month. But let's talk about non-fungible tokens. Uh, what does that actually mean, right? In a clear set, in a clearer mindset. So let's read it right here, right? So non fungible more or less means that it's unique and can't be replaced with something else. For example, a Bitcoin is fungible. Trade one for another Bitcoin, and you'll have exactly the same thing. A one of a kind trading card, however, is non fungible. If you trade it for a different card, you'd have something completely different. You gave up a a uh, a squirtle and got a 1909 T206. I don't know what that is. Stadium talk. I'm on a Lisa baseball card. Okay, I don't know what that was. That was that was beyond me there. But um, let's talk about how NFTs work. At a very high level, most NFTs are part of the Ethereum blockchain. And Ethereum is a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or Dogecoin, but its blockchain also supports these NFTs, which more extra, which more store extra information that makes them work differently from, say, an e uh, ETH coin. It is worth noting that other blockchains can implement their own versions of NFTs. Uh, Solana has one. Um, VeChain ha is is uh, doing their own NFTs. Um, there are a lot of other blockchains that are getting into this space. So one of the things is, uh, let's see, what's worth picking up the NFT? So I'm not going to read this whole thing to you guys, but I just wanted to get those basics for um, those who are just learning and understanding uh, NFT. Just, I wanted to be uh, very straightforward about it, about it but I want to get into um, some news that's happened with NFTs. So for those who do not know, um, NBA, Steph Curry, hold on, let's see. One second. Oh, there we go. That's better. All right, cool. There we go. So my man, Steph Curry, actually just bought um a um an nft call from the from the board eight yacht club for a hundred and eighty thousand dollars steph curry is a three-time nba champ for the um for the, why did I draw? for the dang it what team warriors oh my gosh uh the golden state warriors uh so he's recently um got into the game and reason why this is so important is because Popularity is has been put in the hands of our our celebrities, like our NBA athletes and our actresses, and now social media YouTubers and people like that. So um, by him buying a um, board eight yacht club NFT at the price of fifty five Ethereum. So what we were talking about earlier, you have to actually purchase Ethereum first 
which is great for those the uh, the Ethereum ecosystem. And then you use Ethereum to actually pay for the NFT. So Ethereum is not only only internet, right? It, it, it's it's uh, Web 2.0, but it's also Web internet money. That's when I think about Bitcoin, I think about Ethereum, those are internet money. We actually trade that. I usually, I don't use my Bitcoin to buy things. I just stack it and hold to hold value. That's what Bitcoin does for me. But with Ethereum, I use that when I'm using um, DEXs to trade, to get different types of coins. I have to use that to pay in my fees, to transfer and purchase, to sell and different things like that. So one of the biggest right now, most popular platforms is OpenSea. OpenSea um, just dropped a 10,000 um, board Ape NFT in the collection. Each board Ape NFT serves as a membership card that grants access to a graffiti board uh, known as the bathroom. At the time of writing, Curry is using the purchase board Ape NFT as the Twitter page profile uh, photo. That's dope. Um, Let's see, did they, did they let us, are they going to let us see it? So this is his, uh, Steph Curry's um, NFT that he that he has right there. Look at that one. Really cool. Low key. Him talking about it. Let's see. Let's get it. One of my favorite players is Steph Curry. All right. So let's take a look at at why this is so important. So as we have the adoption of one of the largest players in the NBA purchasing an NFT, we just had Visa purchase an NFT, a CryptoPunk. The talent giant UTA, United Talent Agency, has got into the NFT game, guys. They just... Um, Sign prominent NFT project Crypto Punks autographs and me beats me bites. So on Tuesday, the Global Talent Sport and Entertainment Agency, United Talent Agency, announced the company has signed three non fungible token NFT projects created by the firm Larva Labs. Larva Labs has been doing a thing. Um, UTA will work with NFT collectibles and intellectual property for Crypto Punks uh, me bits and autographs across television, film, licensing, publishing, and video games. That's a big deal. That is a big deal. So they are, NFT has hit Hollywood, y'all. So the American talent firm based in Beverly Hills, my, like not Beverly Hills, but Southern California's hometown for me and Jay, uh, California United Talent Agency has been growing force since it was established in 1991 with close to a thousand employees in various divisions. Nice. Big time. I'm not into that, that, that arena, I guess a little bit now, but this is a big deal. Um, you guys for, for, uh, NFTs to become very, to get into the mainstream so we can get main adoption for crypto in general. So let's look at this really quick. So in the last seven days, CryptoPunk 9052 sold for 500 Ethereums, ETH, which is worth $1,410,320 at the time of the exchange. Wow. The first time CryptoPunk 9052 sold, it was for 18 Ethereum or $22,000. At the time of sale... On Tuesday, CryptoPunk 4526 sold for 225. Wow. Yeah, this is a this is this is this is a thing. So, you know, be mindful that art is a whole different ball game. It is a sector of the crypto market, and we should all be very mindful of what we're getting into. Um, I think. Um, I'm actually looking to get my first NFT soon uh, just because I, I think it's really fun um, collecting art. I always wanted to collect art and be a part of a cultural movement. And I think when you buy a piece of art, you're being a part of that cultural movement. Um, and the value is as valuable as you think and another person thinks. So, you know, these things can go up higher, can go up lower. Um, 
I personally am probably going to buy my first NFT uh, after this market. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get one this market. I'm going to kind of wait until the prices kind of die down a little bit by the dip. Um, and um, and I just want to get wrap my head around it a lot more because I think right now it's it's it's, it's kind of expensive to spend and i'm not looking to lock my money into art like that especially my ethereum because that's what you have to use so i would have to push my fiat dollars my usda my us dollars into ethereum take that ethereum and then purchase a jpeg um i'm not down to do that yet but i think you should um if you were to buy a crypto um a crypto nft which one would you buy would you get a crypto punk if you could afford it or would you go over here to the board ape yacht club so let's take a look at their um page look at this guys so i am actually pretty impressed with this um i wish i was onto it a little bit sooner but if you go to board ape yacht club.com i love the access of what they're doing here they are creating a community and so i think if you have um if they create the community where it uh they make these nfts have use case so for example if you are a board ape um um holder you get to go meet steph curry right um you get to network at a so um you know um soho house or something like that or you know just something that where it's really cool where it's membership only and that's what i see them going with this so let's uh take a really quick look at the website and so you guys can see what's going on here so the board ape yacht club is a collection of ten thousand board ape nfts unique digital collectible living on the ethereum blockchain your board ape doubles as your yacht club membership card and grant access to members only benefits the first of which is access to the bathroom a collaborative graffiti board future areas and perks can be unlocked by the community through roadmap activation I told you this is why these things are doing so well they sold out like in 200 million dollars in like an hour they sold crazy fair distribution bonding curve uh are a ponzi there are no bonding curves here. Buying a board ape a board ape costs 0.08 ETH. There are no price tiers. Board ape yacht club membership costs the same for everyone. Buying ape on OpenSea. Hmm. Let's just see. Let's see how that goes. So you have to have. You can go here. So right now they have 10,000, uh, 5,000 5, owners, 36. ETH is the floor price now. I swear it says 0 0.08, right? Volume traded 140,000 ETH. Wow. So let's see if we wanted to buy one right now. Let's see, three days ago. Let's see what this cool one right here. So minimum 60 ETH, 227,000 Reserve price not met. Minimum bid. Wow. Okay. Yeah. USD price 129. So a month. Hmm. Interesting. Board Ape Yacht Club. Okay. We know that. Look at some of these details. So you can see everything here. Interesting. 12 days ago. So you can see they have a history too. Everybody who uh, uh, minted it and owned it. Wow, these things are expensive. Okay. So I think that's I think that's really cool what's going on. Let's check out some other articles here. Let's see. This one, Board 8 Yacht Club, NFT could fetch 12 million at Sotheby's. So for those who don't know, Sotheby's is a big art collector company that is worldwide and very uh, world-renowned. Sotheby is hosting a dedicated two- lot online sale of non-fungible tokens to the board at yacht club a series of computer generated monkey themed monkey themed avatars from september 2nd to the 9th which is expected to fetch between 13.5 million to 20 million uh developed last spring by yoga labs 
a digital collectible company. Each Board Eight Yacht Club NFT features an ape with distinct characteristics and a sign randomly. Some wear jackets or, or earrings while some smoke, so it's different ones. This is the cool thing what they did. So if you own a board, uh, if you own one, you actually got the opportunity to get an airdrop. And what they called it was a it was a three tier system where you got mutant serums. So let's see. I'm sorry. Here we go. So Yoga Labs also offer three tiers of mutant serums, M1, M2, and Mega Mutant, which will allow owners of the, um, the NFTs to generate new apes by exposing the original work to a vial of mutant serum. That's freaking cool. Board Ape Yacht Club NFTs have become one of the most popular digital collectibles on par with CryptoPunks, a series of pixelated characters that were randomly generated through algorithms created in June 2017 by software developers Matt Haw and John Watkinson. A mass crypto punk known as COVID Alien sold for US $11.75 million at Sotheby's sale in June. Wow. Notable, we already talked about Steph Curry, uh, musician Jermaine Dupri, who immediately updated uh, their Twitter avatars to highlight their affiliation with the club. On Saturday, the Board 8 Yacht Club introduced a new batch of 10,000 Mutant Apes NFTs and sold out in an hour to reap, uh, reap in a total of $93 million in one hour. Curry reported Porty paid $180,000, we know. All right. Guys, this is a lot of money is here. So let's see if we can. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we. Let's look at some. Actually, I want to find a picture of a mutant. Let's just let's, let's take a picture. See if we can find one. Let's see what we have. So I think the the cool. So let's take a look. As you guys can see, look how cool these things are so this is a mutant one that was dropped and here we go let's take a look at this one wow that is interesting so it looks like it constantly mutated in multiple ones interesting that's one thing I love about art is really the, from the eye of the beholder. I tell you, I am loving this. So tell me, guys, I want you to uh, look in the comments. Um, let me know which one you like the best. The original board ape, the mutant, the mutant ape, the one that's mutant, which is the serum uh, one or the serum two, mutant two. So we got the three right here. Which one do you like the most? Um, let me know. So let's take a look. So be, make sure you guys uh, come on, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, one of the things we love about what we're doing here is we're just sharing um, um, information out here that most people don't get an opportunity to see or hear about. So if you like that, make sure you uh, follow us on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram name is on at the bottom or one of the corners, uh, Johansa Adventure. And make sure you follow Jade at Unapologetically Jade, where you can see some of our experiences and what we're doing in traveling the island of Puerto Rico, uh, where we uh, recently relocated from Southern California. And, you know, it's a lot of fun stuff and opportunities that are happening in that area. So one of the things I'm gonna, I like to leave with is we're going to start something new here. It's called um, reviewing um, clips. So there's like a lot of cool clips that um, that happens um, that I see on you know social media and YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube, so I actually love the fact that um, other people's opinions. I can look at them and take my own perspective. So I saw this video um, and it's a really interesting um, perspective. It's from, let me check. 
it was from one of the podcasts that I follow. Shout out to my guys, Social Proof. Uh, so Social Proof Podcast. They have a YouTube channel and podcast as well. I think on iTunes. We'll, we'll link the original YouTube uh, video so you guys can check that out and see the whole clip. I watched it. It's really dope. Miss um, um, Cryptocurrency Mommy is as she's known. Uh, her story... Um, coming from New Orleans and just, you know, trying to make things work with her family it was really, really, really inspiring to hear. Uh, most of the time we don't get that. Um, her name is China Bethel. Uh, she, uh, like I said, her name is AKA Cryptocurrency Mommy. I'm going to go to the 40, is that 41 minutes when she talks about this? Um, I'm going to play it. I want to see what, you, what your thoughts on it and I'm going to give my thoughts on it. One second. So why are we getting this set up? Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you want to make sure you hit that notification button so you can keep up to date when we post a new video. Um, if you haven't seen, you want to check out. We did a chin a chin chin chinchero chinchero, uh, which is a party bus um, out here in. Um, in Puerto Rico, we went around the island, so you can see some of the local towns around the islands. Well, we went to uh, Pinones, uh, we went to um, the Guabo, and and a, and a few other uh, places, and where you just see us having fun. Um, that's a part of the travel that we're showing. You. We're showing you the island um, when we're going out and the fun we're having. So make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification buttons. All right, so let's take a look at this clip. I get Ethereum to get, I mean, I'm telling you, most people going to tap out. They're like, I'm out. Forget it. I'm not doing it. Yeah. And that's what they want. There's other communities that don't expect for us to go through the process. But this is the only time in history that the playing field has been even. The wealth gap is now shrinking for those of us who are in this space. Mm -hmm. This is the largest wealth transfer of our time right before our eyes. And most people are looking to understand this word. This is not about your understanding. Most people are not going to understand this because they're thinking too small. They want this to make sense. You're going to make dollars in Bitcoin before it ever makes sense to you. Wow. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. I can contest to that. When I first got started in crypto, guys, um, I saw my brother told me about crypto. I always talk about my brother because, like, I'm. I love my family. I really do. My brother, my older brother, my sister, my younger sister, we're close. I, you know, we all have had our, our experience, but we are passionate. We get it from our parents. We're just passionate. We love hard, you know, and you can hear in his sister's voice um, how passionate her name is China. There has never been an opportunity like this in a lifetime that I've been able to take advantage of. We had the gold rush. We had the industrialization, um, the industrial age. Um, we had um, the internet, right? Uh, the dot com era, right? When all that, when that happened, we had the real estate market, right? I'm 34. Most people, when I was in, co I was in college when all that stuff. I was in high school and college when. Well, I was in middle school when we had the dot com. So I wasn't, you know, I was worried about, you know, uh, Pokemon and just, you know, school and just silly stuff, girls and basketball. That's what I cared about. I, I didn't get a chance to take advantage of that in my lifetime. Millennials have been one of the, honestly, I can't even say that, but we have, I'm going to speak for us that we have had the hardest time. Um, when it comes to general overall life events happening. So when I look at this video, you have to take the time to really reflect. That's why when I told you at the earlier, what we're going to do is the one word check in is take that time, take a deep breath in and check in because what she's talking about, that this is the greatest wealth chamfer. It's not going to be like this. In the next few months, this is your opportunity to get in on um, a market that has no biasness to you outside of money. Like the what we just talked about NFTs. Those NFTs are 
our the average person can't afford them. But there are other NFTs. There's other things that are going to be coming in that technology that we can. And if we can get in front of that and trust that the fact that our current circumstances can be better. And that's for my complacent folks. All my family and friends and people out there who are complacent where they are, you don't complacent mean does not mean you don't try new things. That doesn't mean you're not open to new opportunities. That means that you are in a good space and you should be ready to see and be open to new opportunities. So I, what she said was this. In Bitcoin, you're going to make dollars before it makes sense, before you comprehend. When I first bought Ethereum, I didn't get it. I bought Ethereum at two hundred dollars. It was, I mean, it was trading at three hundred like twenty four dollars, and I just put a hundred bucks in because my brother told me to do it, and I saw some other thing which you could do. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand really what smart contracts were and what it really was. I didn't get it right, but I bought it, uh, and then all of a sudden I noticed my hundred dollars was worth a hundred and ten dollars, one hundred and twenty five, and thirty, and forty five, and it was like uh, it was like double. It was like two hundred bucks. I was like, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. I put a hundred bucks in and now it's double and it's 30 days later. What's going on? And I start paying attention and looking into it. So to wrap it up, I wanted to leave on that. This is an opportunity that you have to take the time to understand. Again, this is not, we're late in the market. Those right now who've already been in the market, like myself, we're just cashing out. So you want to get in here. You want to be smart and do your own research. This is not financial advice. I am just sharing with you my opinion and my journey on how you creating financial freedom, how I've been able to move uh, to a move uh, away from expensive Southern California to Puerto Rico, where it's not cheap, but it's a better situation for myself. So if you are interested in the learning about of cryptocurrency and how to buy cryptocurrencies and what they are, please reach out. If you subscribe to the channel, we're going to be releasing more videos talking about um, how to buy cryptocurrencies, um, how I do my research, what tools I use to do my research, um, and how I pick my coins. Um, because this is the thing, and I want to leave with this. You do not need to pay anyone to do your own cryptocurrency investing. You don't. And and I'm saying that from love because getting in the black means you you know you're taking your life into your own hands, your financial, your mental, and your emotional state into your own hands. And you are taking ownership to predict where you want to be and where you want to go. If you don't do that, you allow others, media, social media. YouTube, you allow parents, family and friends to dictate the things in your life. And you look up one day and you realize this is not even the life I wanted. And all you have to do is take a deep breath and do your own research. If you don't know how to do research, send me a DM and I'll and I'll and I'll and I'll do a video on that. If you want to. There we go. If you want to me if you wanted me to do a video on how to do research in cryptocurrencies put a comment into the uh comment below and say what what um say i want to learn how to research cryptocurrency so thank you guys so much i'm so excited uh every every wednesday we're going live and we're going to be doing these uh in-depth talks about the current topics i'm um, giving you an update on the market where we are um and i hope you guys like this and please make sure that you are living with intention um that you're living your best life and you are striving for financial freedom for traveling and lifestyle hope dreams and love thank you guys for rocking with me tonight i wish you the best have a good evening peace